Hi. What's up everybody? Welcome to Queer Girl Straight Skates. I'm Rebel, this is Bowie, and today we are going to turn these roller skates into Christmas skates. We're making roller skate holiday skates today. Let's do it. I've got my doggy and I've got my little Santas to help me out, so we are going to have a fun ride tonight. <laughs> So today our goal is to make these skates look like the holidays. And I know what you might be thinking, Rebel, those skates already kind of look like the holidays. They're red and they have red laces on it. But I would argue to you that they do not look holiday-y enough and that they need to scream Christmas until everyone's like, we get it, you like Christmas or whatever. That's what I want by the end of this video. So stay tuned and let me know if I have accomplished it down below. Do you think I'm going to do it? I feel like I am but we'll see. <laughs> Queer Girl Straight Skates is a YouTube channel all about roller skating, so if you like roller skating or if you want to like roller skating, you want to start roller skating, you should subscribe, hit that notification bell. I put out new videos every week on Tuesday, and if you want to support this channel, go ahead and go to www.cheerstothequeers.com and get yourself some cute merch slash accessories slash roller skate stuff. What we're going to do is we're going to strip these skates down, make them naked, and then we're going to start all from the top. We have got some wheels to change. We've got some laces to change. I'm going to change these jam plugs to something. I uh, got some skate charms, and we have a decision to make about a leash. So we have lots of things ahead of us. I think we also have a skate patch that we're going to use and potentially a bell. So we've got lots in store for us. So let's take some skates. Oh my goodness, Bowie literally just crawled into my lap. I know you can't see him, but he is right here and he was right there. Welcome to my life. <laughs> so I'm going <sighs> to... So I am going to take these skates down to zero and remove all accessories from them and we're going to start from there. You might be thinking, Rebel, shouldn't you just leave those red laces on there? Don't you want to maybe just make life easier potentially for yourself? No, I do not. I want to make my life very difficult and also I just really like red in general and I feel like a red on red moment is something that I have all the time. It doesn't feel like Christmas or doesn't feel like special holiday skates to me and I really want these skates to feel like Wow, these are special. This is a holiday thing. Not just this is an everyday thing. So that's what we're doing here How's everybody doing? I hope that you're doing well. I have been very excited about the holidays this year specifically because the holidays last year just sucked. I mean, I'm sure that they sucked for all of you as well. But as a person who like loves the holidays so much, this year I'm just so ready to do every single activity. I literally told Chev like, we need to get ourselves invited to a Christmas party because I want to attend a Christmas party. And she was like, why? And I was like, because Christmas parties are awesome. I love them. And she clearly does not share the same affinity for the holidays as I do, but that's okay because she's super obsessed with Halloween and so we did a bunch of stuff there. So what that means is that we get to do some stuff for Christmas because it's my favorite. Yeah. All right, I'm going to take all of these apart and then we're going to come back in just a moment when they are apart. Okay, we're back. And we have naked skates, meaning we have everything removed from these skates. They are just a blank red canvas for now. So the first thing that we're going to do, oh wait, now they're naked skates for real. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do, because I believe that this makes life easier for all of us, is I'm going to put the wheels that I've chosen to put on here. Um, I only had two red or green wheels. The green wheels that I had were the pulse wheels, and they are outdoor wheels, but Shove is using those on her Christmas skate setup right now. 
So what I am going to be putting on mine are in this cute little nifty bag that I got from moxyskates.com that you can use code rebel to get a discount on is the Red Bull Bombers. So I actually like legitimately love these wheels. So I'm super excited to have a reason to be putting these on my skates. These wheels I actually used as my skate park wheels for a while. And then I took them off because I wanted to try out the Astro Bull Bombers, which are very, very similar to these. Um, but I liked that the Astro Bull Bombers, the ones that I've been using, are a little bit smaller, so I enjoy those. Um, but yeah, so I used to use these as my skate park wheels, and I also used these a little bit for dance skating or um, going to the rink when I first started. So yeah, so I'm excited to put these bad boys back on my skates and they are red and that goes with the theme and they are like semi they're like kind of transparent so I could kind of see through them and I love that and yeah here we go so I'm putting those on so it's a wheel bag it's called wheel love but I just love that my wheels will just go right into this bag like so great love it not just regular love it I really love it <laughs> Yeah! All right, so, um, okay, putting our wheels onto our skates. Um, I have the red bones, uh, uh, yeah, the roller bones, red bones bearings in here, and I like them. They're just like a base level bearing from bones. So I'm going to put the red Defiant Upgrades nuts that I originally had on my skates back on there because they are red and they go with the theme. And that's really the requirements, is you just have to be on theme. And if you're on theme, you get to participate. I mean, if you notice, even the red bones bearings also have the word red in them. And I know that this is not a monochromatic moment, but, you know, red and green, that's what I'm going for. I was thinking, I honestly had the thought like, oh, I should do like a blue, like wintry holiday skate. And I was going to do that. But then I felt like I just, I really like the setup that's on my blue skates right now. And I didn't want to mess around with it. And I really am partial to like Christmas colors and really feeling like that is a celebration for the holidays because that's how I celebrate the holidays is I celebrate Christmas. And so for me, I was like, uh, I think I want to do red and green. And then maybe I'll do like a winter, like a blue winter setup in January. Because even though at that point, like winter is basically over in Long Beach, it can still be winter in my heart. And that's what matters. I just basically I really want it to snow here is really what I'm getting at and so I'm feeling like if I made like snow themed skates then maybe it would feel kind of like I was riding the slopes instead of just the transition. <laughs> Anyways, I also feel like it'd be really cute. Oh my gosh, if you have the white vegan jacks, imagine, or like the white sugar at fames, or basically any white skate, but like white with blue accessories, like especially like a light blue or a metallic blue. Oh my god, that'd be so cute. What the hell? I really want to do that now. I don't have those skates, but I imagine in my dreams that I do, so because in my dreams I have every type of skate because I just want all I want I just never want to walk around in shoes like I just want to wear skates but then also like that's kind of a lie because I legitimately also am a total hoe for shoes like I love shoes like I love I love them so I don't know I guess it's just that I'm a foot person <laughs> uh, yeah Whatever. Um, Bowie has made his way back onto my lap. I moved him to the side and then he was like, no, I will not have it. I must be on your lap. He is so, so, so attached. <laughs> we are very concerned about what happens when the world opens back up and I have to go back to work. 
So uh, we'll see. <laughs> and by back to work, I mean like back to work in person. I have been working on the interwebs. Okay, so cute. We have got red bull bombers and red defiant upgrades nuts for our skates. And so far, I think we're looking pretty good. What do you think, Santa 1 and Santa 2? This Santa is definitely a lesbian. Oh, this Santa is like a cottagecore lesbian, and this Santa is like a Lowe's lesbian. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> I think what I'm gonna do first is I'm actually gonna put these jam plugs that I chose in. So the jam plugs that I chose are the Jammers jam plugs, and I got these from <clears throat> moxieskates.com. But the jammers are awesome because one, they're just like a great material, but also these ones light up and they light up, the ones that I got light up like a rainbow. Like they light, whoa, ah! They light, <laughs> they light up and then they change slowly into the other colors and I just am obsessed with them. I cannot leave them alone. So I had to put them in my skates and I feel like if there's anything that is like holiday-esque for me, it is like glitter and lights and cute. And I can't put glitter on my skates because I know I would mess that up somehow. And I also know that like the glitter would get everywhere and then Shove would definitely not be happy with me. But like understandable, right? But these lights, they make up for it. So we're putting the jammers in. The thing about the jammers is that they, like at the bottom of it, that's how you turn them on. So you unscrew it a little bit to turn it off. You screw it a little bit to turn it on. And then you put it into your skate. I don't use a tool for these because if I was to use a tool and then put these in and tighten them, then I would have a really hard time when I went to the rink or wherever I'm going at night to actually take them out and turn them on and put them back in. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting them in, I'm just screwing them in with my hands and tightening them up as much as my hands will let me tighten them up because then I would take them out, turn it on and put them back on when I arrived at the rink or whatever I was doing. So, and what it looks like when they are plugged in and on is they look like that. So dope, right? Yeah. But for right now, I'm going to leave them off. So I'll turn these off and I will put them back. I literally love jam plugs so much. Like they, it's completely and entirely changed my dancing experience on skates like so much like it was wild how different they were and if you want to see a video about jam plugs uh i'll put it up here because i made a whole video about jam plugs okay so now is the time when i have to create so uh i'm going to use this enjoyable squish patch i'm gonna put these on this on my skates uh, what's great about them is that they have the little uh, grommet or hole thing where you can lace them with your laces. Uh, you can buy multiple of these or one. I think I'm just going to have one on my right foot. And I have, okay, other things that I would have to lace on it would be, I have this little green heart, which I think is really cute. And then I have some skate charms, but those can go on at the end. So right now what I need to decide is what color, what color laces do I do? So the, here is what I have. Red, like metallic red. Um, I have metallic green, which I have a feeling the green might be the winner, but I'm not sure yet. I have, oh, this is the same one, but I have a silver metallic, and then I have a gold metallic, and then I have a neon green. So, what do you think? Do you think we should do gr 
Oh my god, that looks so good. The red metallic, whereas it's my monochrome mo moment, I just feel like it's too basic. And y'all know we are not here to be basic today. We are here to be extra. The silver would definitely look good. The gold would also look very nice. Green? I don't feel like that shouts. Okay, I really do think that like it's... The metallic green has to have a moment. It just like claimed it so hard. So I'm like, okay, I will listen to my gut. My gut says metallic green. My gut gets metallic green. Um, this is where it's really hazardous to have a dog in my lap. But wait, you have to move. I love you so much. Mwah. You have to go over here. He is like so mad. Every time I take him off my lap, he is like, I have been betrayed. You are ruining my whole life. And, like, it's fair because every time Shove tells me to, like, leave her alone for a second, I'm like, um, I have been betrayed. You're ruining my whole life. Not really. I'm not that clingy, I promise. Um, okay, so the way that we are going to do this is we are going to lace them... Just like a pretty standard way. If you want different lacing patterns, you can watch this video up here about how to lace your skates. There are many, many different ways to lace your skates. And each of the different ways to lace your skates will help with like different parts of it. So like different parts of uh, whether your skate is like tighter or looser in some parts, or if you need something that will, um, give you a little bit more support around the ankle or different spots, you're going to be able to do that with your lacing pattern. So I'm gonna lace these in a pretty, just like general way, pretty standard way. I'm not gonna do anything too special here. Just, I'm gonna add on the patch. I think it's gonna look really good, y'all. I was thinking that maybe we could rewrite a Christmas song while we're here. Um, my thought was, so I've had a couple Christmas songs stuck in my head today. The first one that I've had stuck in my head is the, um, and I'm right, and I'm right, and I rock the night away. Jingle bell time. It's a, look at him. He's coming back <laughs> to go riding in a one horse lane. Giddy up, jingle horse, pick up your feet. Oh, it's Jingle Bell Rock. I can never remember the names of Christmas songs. So, but I think I already rewrote that into a skate song last year. So my other idea was like rewriting Jingle Bells. So I could go, uh, okay, Jingle Bells. Okay, let's do it. So when we get to putting on the patch, we're actually gonna put it on. Yeah, I'm actually gonna put it on up here. Okay, so when we get to putting on the patch, we're just going to lace it through like we normally would, but then when we're lacing it, we're also going to lace it through the patch at the top, and then that's going to secure it to the skate, especially when we lace, when we continue lacing through to the next hole. So we're gonna lace through here, put a little enjoyable squish in it. Okay, are you ready for my song now? Because I am so ready to show you my song. Oh my God, this is so cute, what? Okay, here's my song. Roller skates, roller skates, rolling all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on eight wheels and two plates. Hey, bull bombers, defiant nuts, and jammers, jam plugs. Green derby laces and skate patches and jack boots from Mossy Skates. Hey! <laughs> I hope you loved my song. I literally just wrote it for you. So if you didn't love it, don't tell me. Or do tell me, but tell me in the comments. Not if you're watching this live like if it's premiering live and you're watching it and you hate my song Please don't tell me in the live chat because I'll be sad <laughs> Okay, so Whoa, so I'm putting the other green laces on this other skate and 
I was going to use this little green heart, but I think I'm not going to because I really think that this green with these laces, I think it really packs a punch. And I actually think that that green heart would get lost with this uh, green lace on the skate. And I'm not about that. Like, I want each patch to have, you know, their own moment. I want them to shine, you know? So I'm going to do that for the green patch. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Even just like this, I feel like she looks real good. But there is one last accessory. It's several of accessories that I would like to put on here. And that is some skate charms. That's right. Little pieces of decoration that you can temporarily put on and off your skates including, but not limited to, this rainbow candy cane and this red candy cane charm, which I just feel like it is not complete if there are not candy canes on my skates. You know, like what's even the point of making a Christmas skate if I can't put candy canes on it? So here is the moment. I'm trying to decide whether I should put like one candy cane of each style next to each other or if I should just use like two rainbow candy canes and then two regular candy canes. I don't feel like that's the moment. I feel like it's definitely using one of each. And then I also have this like heart rose one that I feel like kind of goes with the season. So I, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do these this regular one first. And the great part about these skate charms is that I could put it on. I could be like, ah, I actually hate that. And it'll take all of two seconds to take it off. So, um, okay, so we've got one of each candy cane and then we've got one of these rose guys. Oh my God, this is so cute. Oh my God, the candy canes on the skate is out of control. The way that you put on a skate charm, there's usually a lobster clasp or something like this on the top, and then you'll just hook it onto one of the laces, preferably one of the ones that isn't um, like loose, like ones that loops from one to the next, that way your skate charm won't fall off uh, when you're unlacing your skate, because that would be so annoying to have to deal with. Oh, I like it. Oh, it's cute. Okay, I'm putting this guy on the inside because I think that's so, oh, I love it. Okay, so I forgot to tell you that the Enjoyable Squish Patch and all of these skate charms come from cheersofthequeers.com, so you can get them there. The metallic green laces, I actually don't think I sell these ones. I sell all the other laces, but I don't think I have metallic green right now but I do have the silver, gold, and red in my shop. But I think I got the metallic green from Shove's collection, which means she may or may not have gotten it from like Pigeon Skate Shop or Moxie or um, Derby Laces themselves, unsure. Um, but yeah, so this is how we've settled. Oh my God, I'm literally obsessed with these. Like these are so cute. What a day. Okay, so one thing you do have to know though is that skate charms, do not use them while you're aggressive skating because if you use them while you're aggressive skating, they uh, are likely to fall off, to break, <clears throat> potentially could really hurt you or hurt someone else. So I have, oh no, not Santa. You know what? It's so lucky. I was originally planning on having this setup have candles right here. And I'm so glad that I changed that because this whole video could have ended very differently and very badly. <laughs> so I have a leopard print and a cookies and milk skate leash. And I just feel like there's no way I can deny the cookies and milk skate leash. You know what I mean? Like I gotta do it. So I have a cookies and milk skate leash on my skates. Uh, this cookies and milk skate leash came from Project Pinup, which um, they are a small business rooted out of Phoenix, Arizona. And if you wanted to get something from Project Pinup, you should use code REBEL and you can get 10% off your order. And also, they make a ton of amazing skate leashes. Like literally everything you can ever dream of when it comes to skate leashes, like they do that. And they're done! Wow! 
I think I did it. I think these skates scream, it is Christmas time, which is literally all I wanted. Like skates that scream Christmas. And um, yeah, now, I mean, just, I'm just gonna bask in the glory of these because they are amazing. And I guess I have to make a date to go out and skate, especially at the rink or somewhere that it's dark so that I can use these jam plugs to their full, full, full abilities. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Queer Girl Straight Skates. I hope that you enjoyed this new transforming my skates into holiday skates uh, video. I hope that you also make yourself some holiday skates. And if you do and you post them somewhere, please tag me in it. I'm basically Queer Girl Straight Skates on all socials. So anywhere that you are, try and find me there. Um, but yeah, so I hope that you make yourself some holiday skates. And if you do, tell me about them in the comments below. And um, I hope that you're having a wonderful holiday season and you find little bits and pieces of life that help bring you joy, like making holiday skates does for me. I love you so much. If you want to support me, cheers to the queers.com is the way to do it. And if you want to have like new skates or new skate accessories, you can go to moxieskates.com and use code rebel or pigeonskates.com and use code rebel. And if you want to tell Santa that you would like something from cheers to the queers.com, I'm sure that one of these lesbian Santas can fulfill your request. Mwah. Oh no, they can't kiss because the cottage core Santa has too much ferns and stuff in between them. Well, from my Santa to yours, happy holidays, happy Christmas, merry Christmas, merry holidays, whatever you celebrate. I hope that you have a wonderful time celebrating with your family, friends, and loved ones. And most importantly, cheers to the queers. I got a rebel soul What are you doing after this? Uh, I don't know. I was thinking about just like going back and hanging out on the shelf. Maybe I was gonna make some cookies or something. Oh, that sounds really fun. I was wondering if you wanted to maybe go ice skating with me or I do this trip like all around the globe on December 24th. I was thinking that maybe if you wanted to come, we could like go on a sleigh ride. Uh, that sounds super awesome. I would really like that. I'm also kind of busy on December 24th, but maybe I can make that work and we can just like do our sleigh ride together. I would love that. Oh my gosh. Dun, 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 dun. And that's a story of how lesbian Santa, Mrs. Claus and Mrs. Claus got married. Mwah.